if I were to welcome you in my language, and we do that quite often, I'd say Yuna Gullanbu, Gibi Bangbu, Gaan Banadu, Ningyogi, Wuradri Gu, Nyurumangu, Wuradri Mayangadang, Ningyogi, Niniyane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wuradri country. Wuradri people are happy that you do this land have come. For me, it's good to be able to get back out onto the river and get close to nature, particularly on a beautiful day like today. For that reason, I really enjoy, uh, enjoy my job. I love camping out at night, camping under the stars. I love getting involved in the activities, um, particularly uh, you know, with the camp oven style food. Uh, but camping out and, uh, and getting into a life that's more organic rather than a, uh, a, an environment that's mechanical. I love the exercise, uh, all of that sort of stuff's good for you too as well. One of the roles we have in our program is to oversee the River Dreaming educational tours. These tours are set along the Lachlan River, giving students and adults the opportunity to engage looking at the river system and the environment from inside a riverbank outwards. Just to see the impacts from the inside of the river is quite different to looking from the bank down in the river. We work with quite a few landholders who have that, that vision looking from the river down. The landholders that we have engaged to come along the river actually have seen their, their properties, their river system in a different way from looking up. This is a great experience for corporate organisations as well. Most corporate organisations do have environmental programs which support agriculture industries but also natural resource management. Seeing the river system uh, in the poor state that it is at the moment provides corporate organisations an opportunity to actually engage in sponsorship and projects for the future. The canoe trips were designed to get people out of their comfort zone, bring them out in the actual environment that we're working towards improving, challenge them in a new way, get them to do something physical that they wouldn't normally do. So bringing people out onto the river and getting them to, to paddle along it for a few days is just really good connection to get with that river. You can see the problems along the river. And you can see how people are using the river and interacting with it. Most of us drive past at 100 k's an hour and don't really get in touch and feel the river, but when you're on the water, you get in touch with it, you're feeling it, you're breathing it, smelling it. It gives you a whole different perspective about river health and how important it is and what's impacting the river, whether it's cattle and sheep on the banks or it's erosion gullies coming into the river. It could be weeds on the banks, no snags or there are snags, where the good fish habitat is, where there's bad fish habitat. We can sort of describe that to people as they're going down the river and they really get in touch with it. I'd love to do this every day of the week if I could. <laughs> And then from the leadership side of things, by putting in a few challenging activities, getting people out of their comfort zone, you're not working in the office, you're not at school in the playground, you're not on the farm doing work in the same way that you normally would be, but you're challenging yourself and how you work with other people and how you relate. I've been involved in the leadership program run by the Lachlan CMA uh, for three years now, four years. We've probably put over 100 people through the course. And the last two times, uh, we've been down on the river and it's been an absolutely fantastic way of taking leadership and the environment to be one and the same. Most people don't understand their leadership roles and when we get a chance to get them down on here in the river they can actually see how their leadership role interacts with the environment itself and that really makes a big difference in trying to get the lessons we're trying to teach them about their own personal discovery but also to get them to see the problems that face our environment from right down at a grassroots level. Being on the water you get to see so much more. The environment is right there all the time so you get to see a huge variety of bird life. Our leaders uh, from, from the Lachlan CMA are absolutely fantastic in pointing out all the different programs that they've been involved in but also the cultural heritage. Within the two and a half days that we've had, uh, we've come down the river in the first day 30 kilometres, which is quite a way, and learned a lot about the environment along the way. The canoe trip in itself, um, like we don't have access to such an asset like this at the, like the Lachlan River, so being able to um, canoe down here and have this ability to learn at the same time is um, a, a big asset to have three or four days where you, you know, can actually sit down and have a conversation about um, relevant interests and natural resource management and what's happening in your local government area has just been really beneficial. It's been important just to link up with people. Uh, obviously I don't have a background in NRM, uh, just being exposed to people who live and breathe it. Also swapping over with different people and talking and um, uh, 
uh, just spending you know, an hour or so with someone paddling down the river has been great. Yeah. I found it really good working with a diverse group of people that all have the same passion. They seem to share that passion for the environment. Everybody's involved. No, no, one, no one gets a chance to sit back. You take your turn at doing the dishes, you take your turn at preparing a meal, and that team environment is uh, very, very important, and I think that's, that's what it's about, all pulling together for better outcomes. I think the biggest um Inspiration has been the Aboriginal slash cultural um, awareness that we've we've been taught. Listening to the stories that we've been told has just given us a little bit more um, depth and understanding of what's um, what it's actually about. So it's quite inspiring to be able to take that back to work and maybe try and push that a little bit further within our local government area. I'm going to definitely recommend it to um, people when we go back to work as well, so just got a lot out of it, yeah. Mm. For me, that's been most significant is the Indigenous culture. She, um, on a direct level now, coming out on this, on this canoe trip, um, having a greater understanding and appreciation of, of, of some of the uh, complexities of the issues. I found that I've come away with much greater appreciation and understanding of Aboriginal culture and yeah wanting to then take that back to my land care district and help to educate people there about the uniqueness of the Aboriginal culture and the contribution that that can make to us as land managers. I've got to understand a lot more about the uh, Indigenous folks of Australia and uh, their, their way of life and culture. I have a, a greater uh, respect for the environment and I believe that any, any group uh, considering a team building project to get to understand each other as well as their own uh, workplace better, this is a great start. This is a really good way of uh, getting in touch with nature uh, and get to know each other to better solve problems and, and move forward with projects. Uh, we, we connect with all kinds of people, so it's a very, very interesting project, very, very interesting um, trip, and uh, it's a very, very educational program, and there's uh, lots of really, really good educational outcomes. If you think River Dreaming is an option for your organisation or your school, and you'd like to learn more about the environment and the issues that are affecting our river system, or if you'd like to build and improve your team building in your organisation, call us now.